One of the big problems we tend to have as men, and in particular as entrepreneur men, is we love to solve problems. We're often too caught up in trying to solve the problem that often we don't actually see the problems and the obstacles that are in our way. Because when we think we're actually solving a problem, what we're really trying to do is solve a situation. And often that situation is actually far bigger than we realize, but we're missing all of the multiple problems or obstacles that need to be addressed in order to resolve that situation. Now, what I mean by this, for example, is if in body, you consider the fact that you need to lose weight. It's like, oh, I want to lose weight. I've got 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 50 pounds of body fat to lose. That's a problem. Now, it is a problem, but really it's a situation. Now, what we mean by this is there are a number of problems going on in your day-to-day -day life and in the way that you're showing up for yourself and your behaviors, your mindsets and so on that are leading you to be overweight. So the overweight part is the outcome of those problems. It's the situation that you now find yourself in as a result of the small daily problems that you're currently not addressing. So let me break this down and I can show you how this can help because what we want to do over time is become almost like an assassin of our small problems because eliminating those small problems resolves the overall overarching situation that we're actually trying to fix. So what we're looking at here is situations versus problems. Now, the situation is, oh, I need to lose weight. Now, the catch is if we just say, oh, well, I need to lose weight. Well, what does that mean? Yes, it means I'm overweight. I want to lose some. But what does that mean in terms of the actions I need to take? Well, it means I've got to eat better. It means I've got to exercise. It means I've got to sleep better. It means I've got to change some of my mindset, some of my behavior, some of my beliefs. And so there's lots of different big things that need solving in order to lose weight. But what we need to actually do is break it down to a point where we can see what is actually holding us up. So, for example, one of the things that might be causing us to struggle to lose weight is the fact that we can't stick to a diet. Now, I can't stick to a diet is a problem, but it's quite a big problem. And it's a big problem. I'm just going to put BP here. It's a big problem because often there will be, there will be multiple reasons or smaller problems that are causing us to be unable to stick to a diet. Perhaps it's our energy is low. Energy low could be one. Another one could be no time for food prep. Food prep. Why else might I not be able to stick to a diet? So I can't stick to a diet because no food knowledge. Could be peer pressure. As in, sometimes due to our tribal association, etc., we don't want to look like the boring one in our social event, you know, might be out with friends or family, and we don't want to look like the boring one or be the party pooper, so to speak. So therefore, we'll eat off, eat off plan in order to fit in. Or when our friends start giving us jip or questioning us about, well, why are you doing this? And why are you doing, why, why aren't you eating this now? Why are you not drinking that? Rather than have to explain and go into all that bullshit, sometimes the pressure of that situation makes us give in. So we've got lots of problems that are potentially leading to this problem. Now, the truth is some of these might still be quite big problems that can be broken down further. So for example, the peer pressure one, we would need to look at, okay, well, why is your belief in yourself not strong enough? To, to make you ignore your friends or why are their opinions greater than yours? And there's lots of things we can dig into as we go. But ultimately, we need to look at, well, what are all of the small reasons that are leading to this big problem? So the small problems leading to the big problem that are causing the situation. Because if we can then break them down into small enough chunks. So for example, oh, I have no food knowledge. I'm not as in, I don't know what foods I should be eating, shouldn't be eating. With all the information that's out there these days, that one is relatively easy to resolve. In fact, you don't even necessarily have to go and learn all about nutrition. You could just simply go, okay, well, I have no time for food prep, so I need to make sure that whatever food prep I'm doing is very short and the meals or the recipes that I'm using are very quick and I have no food knowledge. Okay, let me go out and buy a recipe book that specializes in 15-minute recipes. 
Now, by buying a recipe book that specializes in 15 minute recipes for fat loss, for example, that will now address this one. So, okay, the food knowledge is addressed. I don't need to worry about learning about food because instead I'm going to learn about what foods to cook that are going to be helpful for me burning fat. And they're also going to help with my lack of time because they're 15 minute recipes, for example. So we need to look at what are the problems that can be resolved as a result of small actions that we can take regularly. So now once we've got that, we might go, okay, well, cool. Now, as a result of getting in better food, what's also going to happen, because I'm hopefully going to be using these recipes that are not going to take up too much time. I'm eating cleaner food now, which is hopefully helping me lose weight, but also going to start addressing the low energy. So as a result of that one action, buying a recipe book and actually implementing the use of it, we are now able to address our low energy, hopefully stick to the diet that we're trying to stick to as well, which is going to result in us being able to start losing weight. So sometimes what we find is we don't need to do all of the things. There is lots that we could do in order to try and lose weight. And of course, if we have the capacity and the the bandwidth to be able to handle all of those different things, then sure, we can go for it. And of course, we'll get quicker results. But many of us don't. So we need to be honest with ourselves about where we're at so that we can be honest with ourselves about what we'll actually do and what we'll stick to in order to reach our goals. Now, if it can be something as simple and quick as this, oh, I bought myself a recipe book that specializes in 15 minute recipes for fat loss. And then I implemented the use of that book. That might be a better way to spend your time rather than trying to eat perfectly every single meal, even though you don't have time to cook good food. It might be better than trying to force yourself to go to the gym every single day or every other day or do hours and hours of cardio outside of your working hours, spending more and more time away from your family, trying to beat yourself into shape when really you might be able to do it with one, one simple tweak or at least start moving yourself towards your goals whilst you then work on some of the issues that are in the way. Oh, I still don't have time because I'm working too many hours. Cool. Well, then we can break that down in the same way. The situation that I'm struggling with is I don't have any time because of my long working hours. Well, that's the situation. What are the problems leading to that? Is it a money scarcity thing? Is it a peer pressure thing from work or your boss? You feel like you're having to work longer in order to appease them. Or if you don't work longer, someone else is going to take your place and so on. So we would then break down all of those problems and find the small issues there too that could then be addressed and resolved in order to help you now eliminate the time issue. One, we've helped it hopefully with short recipes, but that won't necessarily take away the whole problem. So instead, we would now need to look at other areas of life and how they cascade and bleed into other areas and then cause problems. For example, business can bleed into body, body can bleed into balance, balance can bleed into being and so on. So we need to just look at, well, every domain of life has the potential to negatively or positively impact the other. So let's, where possible, start breaking down those big situations, those big problems into smaller, more manageable problems, and then taking them out one at a time. Now, if you have any questions on this or you want me to go deeper or you'd like some more examples regarding fat loss, let me know what your particular situation or big problem is, and then I can help you break that down. If you drop a comment below with your big problem or your situation, I will then drop in some, some answers and some small problems that might be leading to that that you can start addressing. I can give you some help, some tips and advice to keep you moving forward. And if not, of course, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Take it easy, people, and I shall chat to you soon.